To understand the future of Roe v. Wade, we must look at the history behind the case. It started as a challenge to Texas abortion laws in the 1970s. On each side, Jane Roe and Henry Wade. Here's what we know about the two of them and the ruling itself. Jane Roe's real name was Norma McCorvey. She lived in Dallas County, Texas. McCorvey already had two children whom she wasn't raising. When she got pregnant again, she wanted an abortion. Her lawyers, Sarah Weddington and Linda Coffey, were looking to challenge Texas's abortion laws. Three federal judges in Dallas ruled that the state's law banning abortion was unconstitutional. On the other side of the case was Henry Wade, a longtime district attorney in Dallas. During his tenure, Wade was extensively involved in the Kennedy assassination investigation. It took three years of trials for this case to reach the U.S. Supreme Court. Here's what the landmark ruling established. A woman's right to choose is protected under the 14th Amendment's right to privacy. However, the right to privacy is not absolute. There must be a balance between protecting women's health and prenatal life. That balance is guided by trimesters. Up to 12 weeks, the government cannot prohibit abortions at all. Between 13 and 27 weeks, the government can impose reasonable health regulations. And during the third trimester, Abortions can be prohibited entirely. The only exceptions would be in cases to save a mother's life. As Roe v. Wade made its way into the courts, Jane Roe gave birth to her third child and gave her baby up for adoption. Years later, she actually changed her stance on abortion and took part in the anti-abortion movement. She passed away five years ago.